to Ben Sushi Live. Today we're going to be doing a 3D therapy. Uh, it's basically, I call it like a random stamping. So with random stamping, you can do it in 2D like using texture and just stamp it on 3D objects. But you can also use like a displacement map that you can stamp on the 3D objects. Okay, so we're going to be using a Kushiro Free Tools a Hype Baker. So this add-on is actually free, and uh, but you can give donations to Kushiro. Um, the idea is to create this kind of pattern, and then you simply stamp it on 3D objects. In this case, this is like a, just normal displacement. You might think, okay, this is similar to JS placement, right? So JS placement is another free tools that you can download. Uh, this will actually generate the pattern for you. Uh, automatically they're all random there's a lot of parameters that you can play with you can download JS placement here uh, but the idea is anyway you're gonna end up with this kind of pattern that you can use to do like a 3d stamping so it might seem complicated right but uh, okay let me show you if we actually start with a uh, sculpting Okay, we have this sphere that has been subdivided and we want to stamp 3d into this guy okay so the step by step is first of all in blender you want to load the stamp which is just an image okay we're gonna open it for example we can use uh, the JS placement mod uh, one if you want to um, but I will be using my own motif. So I'm just gonna open this. Okay, this pattern. And I just wanna stamp it into this guy. And by default, this is the image already being loaded. And we are inside the sculpt tool and we can simply actually just load it as a texture that we can stamp on. Okay, so by default, I think it's simply using the brush and you, you, when you're painting it, it's using this pattern. We might need to increase the, the brush resolutions. So I'm gonna subdivide it, subdivide it further. So twice subdivision, so we are actually with higher resolution now. If we are doing stamping, you might notice, okay, it's, uh, it's doing the stamping and this is already Kind of relaxing but by default okay you might notice the stamping is actually using the uv sort of using the uv and you when you're painting okay the pattern will repeat okay that's cool uh that's because the mapping is set to tiled if you want to do like the 3d therapy that, that i was thinking you can you can try using stencil okay so we are in different modes now we have stencil and when you are about to paint suddenly this stencil appear so stencil similar to graffiti so you basically you move the stencil around and okay I'm using the middle mouse button to rotate the stencil I'm using right mouse button and then just place it so I can do this stamping this is actually uh, a little bit a little bit better uh, you might like this stencil you might not but when you are using uh, sculpt and alpha texture to do the stamping you can also change the stroke method from space to something else for example drag and actually a uh, drag dot or anchored anchored is the one that we want to use so with anchored you basically uh, place the stencil and then just simply anchored so this is just another method you might like stencil you might not like it so maybe use viewing plane so remove the stencil and use the anchored so this is basically what it <laughs> What we're gonna create i think anchored method is the most relaxing and fun to do okay uh yeah 
So the, this is basically what I'm trying to show you. So let's save this very quickly. Random stamping. Why is this like a 3D therapy? Because this is uh, basically you have something that you can stamp over and over again, right? So this is relaxing and I think this is pretty fun to do. And especially in 3D, if you are doing this, maybe someday in VR, stamping is actually very relaxing. Okay. Uh, now what we really need is the the actual texture, right? So okay, we can stamp, and this is pretty fun. We don't even need to use stencil. We can rotate, click and drag, click and drag. So that's just the repetitions of things. That's the basically what we are doing, trying to do. Okay, so let's start from nothing, and we're gonna create our own stamp. The fastest way, the easiest way. This is Blender 3.0, right? We we can use this add add cube or add cone. Actually, yeah. So you can randomly just draw 3D objects. This is also kind of part of the therapy. So just drawing random things, just like a JS JS placement. This is just basically like a cube. When you're on the on the floor, you're drawing the cube and just simply, you know, bring it up. And they are all now, if you look at it from the top view, they all have different depth, right? So this is gonna be your stamp. And yeah, you can you can try to do things like shift d and duplicate it and then repeat with shift r this kind of thing okay select all of them okay save this save this first stamp a this is just one of the ideas tap a select all shift a command j so join all of them remember i mentioned uh kushiro kushiro like this is high baker free add-on you just install it you just put a number there just download it and then install the add-on once you once once you install it from the preference you have it uh, working okay you simply select your 3d objects and then f3 type in height baker by default this will appear and you just uh, select a folder and uh, give it a name accept by default the resolution is 2048 there's a padding you can turn on square input uh, square output uh, the padding try zero or give it a number and just simply bake selecting the our thingy right so you're gonna have an output which is this guy over here we have our stamp cool now that we have our stamp we can start again from oh yeah you can do stamping on anything even on Suzanne let's try on Suzanne Suzanne uh, let's do a control 3 remesh it right click shade smooth you can remesh Suzanne apply apply using command a now we have Suzanne with a lot of with some resolutions so we can sculpt on this monkey go to sculpt mode and we can start our stamping the process again go under the texture and just create a new image texture and then load our stamp the stamp comes as EXR you can actually use animated sequence as a stamp okay so that's a little bit more advanced if you like it I'm, I can talk about it instead of single image you can use image sequence and that's a uh, actually quite inter interesting as well so okay back to our tools by default 
there's a lot of tools settings but we just want to look at the texture and then okay and then the stroke remember remember we like the stroke to be an anchor and then instead of tile we're going to be using viewing plane and we simply do our stamping so my it might sounds like all right it's so simple right but uh, it's also quite fun to do so with the uh, suzanne okay this is random stamping it's uh, already in progress the session if you use multi resolutions you can subdivide more and this is actually quite efficient depending on your computer ram i actually <laughs> my computer ram is not too big but i think it's yeah i think it's doing too much i might actually just kill this <laughs> back to what we have before just simply stamping if you have more memory on your computer you can go higher with the stamping and it's gonna the thing the thing is gonna look much better so this is uh, the stamping 3d therapy session let's save this i uh this is stamping therapy these days i mean the 3d tools can be quite complicated but in reality i mean for most people you don't need to be a 3d professional but you want to do some 3d so there are a few things that should be a lot simpler not everything needs to be complex you know of course like apps like blender can do a lot but sometimes you just want to do simple things like uh, this 3d therapy is just fun you can of course do this using this place uh, geometry nodes and just scatter some instance of this uh, 3d objects and then just randomly scatter it but if you're doing it manually it's it's all it feels nice that's why this is uh, 3d therapy i call it 3d therapy right so we have our creations in the end this one yeah i think the resolution is quite high maybe not high enough i mean a better method is of course to start with uh okay start with suzanne again and then go to multi resolutions subdivide a couple of times until until it looks dense like this go to sculpt mode this time okay the stamping working but maybe we still don't have enough resolutions here subdivide more six time subdivisions we're gonna have a lot of resolutions to work with yeah i think i think this is uh the most efficient method so you can have like a high resolution you can see there underneath while at the same time you can move around and as you move around it uses the low polygon if you're really happy then you can bake uh, the multi resolutions as a normal map so it's going to be efficient for for the rendering if you ever want to bake this out you don't want to export like millions and millions of polygons you just want to have the normal the normal map bake as 2k or 4k resolutions and then use that in a in a software like procreate as a normal map and then you you're doing the painting while keeping the normal map as displacement so here what we are doing is really really doing the actual displacement but i'm using this as a 3d therapy you know just click and drag click and drag so that's really the point of this video tutorial so you can see more clearly with a cavity on shadow is slow on mac m1 Okay, so we have two 3d monkey head you can you can do a little bit more actually uh, if you want something that's more elaborate 
with the stamping. I'm gonna delete everything, okay? Start again. Uh, Shift A, curve, create a Bezier. Bezier, simple curve. This doesn't look like anything. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna hit tab, delete everything. I like drawing strokes, so I'm gonna be using draw curve. I'm gonna start drawing. Okay, this is also another crazy method. So random doodle. By default, random doodle is just gonna create a curve, but you can go under geometry and then just bevel it using profile. Increase the depth and you have something, something to work with. You can play around with the profile, adding more details. This is gonna be our stamp, okay? So go back to, uh, let's, let's save this first. Stamp B. If we go to edit mode, hit tab and uh, go to select box. We can actually do like uh, this kind of thing, option. The hotkey is option S. I don't I always like this hotkey, uh, a little bit funny. But anyway, with option S, you can scale and adjust the stroke thickness. By doing it like this, you're gonna have, you're gonna end up something with something that's a little bit more complex looking and a little bit nicer. Actually, there's a tool. <laughs> there's a tool to do this. I, I keep forgetting the radius. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically controlling the radius of the curve by selecting it and using the gizmo. But uh, Blender, lots of Blender artists got used to the hotkey. It's always faster, but you can use the gizmo and scale as needed yeah so that's the idea anyway just to draw stroke and then we're gonna be using the stroke uh, to use our to be our stamping <laughs> okay <laughs> so anyway just draw strokes you know once you're done with it since this is a curve it will not bake uh, I mean using the Kush Kushiro method Right click, convert to mesh, and then F3, height baker, save this as stamp B, except you can give a little bit of padding to this texture and then square output and then bake. Wait a few seconds, and boom, you have this snail worm kind of tracing you know uh trails trail of snails okay so that's i call that i call it trail of snail stamping back to our stamping therapy back to suzanne file save as so okay apparently suzanne the monkey head right click shade smooth this guy when you subdivide it six time is enough for our Therapy. So that's a good, good to start. Good to know. Sculpt. Remember our sculpt. We have our texture. We're gonna create a. We're gonna create a new one. Fake user new texture. Okay, new texture. Load our stamp B. So now we can use this stamping on our Suzanne. <clears throat> so okay like I said there are a lot of tools parameters but look at the texture and look at the stroke okay there's also fall off by default the fall off is smooth and your stamping is almost always a little bit like a rounded stamp okay around the edge 
you can you can actually instead of using smooth you can use constant so it's gonna stamp the whole thing like a like a square there is no rounded edges look okay this is this is so much fun you know it might seem like nothing but click and drag is the best therapy click and drag and you are actually stamping some complex pattern that's becoming like a 3d object that later on you can you can bake you can export as a as an artwork it's pretty cool and a lot of fun click and drag click and drag okay if you don't like <coughs> click and drag you can yeah you can use random you know random and rake for example it's gonna stamp thing randomly oh uh, stroke method back to space it's gonna stamp it randomly you might like this method but I I prefer click and drag this one is good to add quick detailing it's actually yeah a little bit more random it's really just making things so like a little it's adding a lot of texture into Suzanne but you might lose the the definitions of your original pattern there Of course you can always change but I, I I prefer anchored method space uh, and then viewing plane Just click and drag it's almost like we are doing like a 3d tattoo 3d tattoo on this monkey head so it's very simple click and drag Okay, so that's uh, basically what I want to show you. It's a 3D therapy. Like I said, you can you can use JS placement. Really, you can you can use this method create create like a random pattern and then just save the height. This is gonna be the displacement. Save it to to desktop, and you can simply use this pattern. then let's do this subdivide six time it's gonna keep that data very efficient data for sculpting again create brush open JS placement PNG it's gonna load it now sculpt mode simply use the this guy so you can see this is JS placement displacement the resolution is probably too high but you can have uh, some result this is the what I, I was talking about with the with the fall off by default by default it's not constant by default it's smooth so it's doing the stamping and there's a soft edge around the texture and so you can stamp it Yeah, whatever method you like, just simply use that one. This is with a hard brush we have earlier. So this is anchored method. Yeah. Anyway, you can mix and match. Okay. This is our alpha brush and our creations of today. Creating nice looking stamp uh, using high baker and also this noodle snail uh, trails and just simply doing stamping okay this is really fun method to do your 3d and your art so this is 3d therapy blender sushi 3d therapy hopefully you find this interesting and useful 
Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.